Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Bloodborne. Ah, we are way far away from where I want to be. We're also at the wrong lamp again. Uh, never mind. Let's let's not load here. Cancel. Abort. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Bloodborne. <sighs> there has to be a shortcut over to where we died last time. To where the gunner is. There has to be. Because this is a really, really long freaking way to have to trek to fight a really tough enemy like that hunter. Hello. I'm also, uh... I'm also thinking that those messages that said, you know, time for falling off, were not a joke, haha, you're gonna get knocked off. I think they were maybe hinting at, you need to push him off the edge, so I wonder if we could do that. I don't even know. I mentioned that this place kind of sucks. Oh man, we have to fight through so many more enemies and whatnot to get back over there. There. Just done with you. Can we like... Do something about you. No. It set you on fire, though. Kind of like that. Doesn't last very long, but still. Oh, yeah. Man, we lost a lot of blood echoes. Soul. Soul echoes. Blood souls. Bloodborne souls. Dark. Echoes. We lost a lot of those things. Alright, you're the first, like, super crazy strong one of these that we've encountered. Gosh. It doesn't help that we're getting shot in the back when we're trying to fight you. Seriously, like, cool it with a gun. Uh, not out here. So yeah, I'm gonna, I'm, I am up way too late, and I'm super tired, and I'm just, I'm, I'm, I keep telling myself one more, just one more before I go to bed, one more. But, uh, it would be really nice to find an actual shortcut. This is a lot to have to fight through every time.
All this and he's not even a real boss, he's just some jerk with a machine gun. Like... Ugh. Okay. That actually worked out much better than I was expecting it to. As did that. Just trying to see if there's anything I recognize down there. <sighs> okay. And the thing burst out of the wall there. But there were two or three sleepers over here, right? Yeah, look at that. No to expect you this time. Yeah. You dodge a lot too. Alright, I'm fairly certain that this is just a dead end. But there was a lot I didn't explore out here. Because I was terrified. Can we get your attention, please? No? Nothing? Come on. Come and fight. Pretty, please? Okay, well, I'll fight you instead. That works. There's, there are so many uh, little blood puddles here. Uh... Nope, 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 nope. I forgot that they were the shrouded ones. shot to death. You're gonna get shot to death. You probably just get shot to death. Okay. So that wasn't too, too bad. Fear Hunter Hunters. Yeah. Oh boy. Nope. 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 We'll fight over here. Fight back here. I risk it? Do we try to get that item? Uh... I wanted to check over here and see if there was maybe a way down or something. Alright, I like cold blood, do. And this doesn't open, right? I gotta double check. Yeah, nope. Oh! Holy crap, where did you come from? 
And who are you? And what are you? What? The hell? Oh my god. Game. F off. No. Bullet man, stop. Right over his head. Lovely. Hmm. Maybe hit and run is effective if you can, uh... You just kind of, like, hang out here. Get him to charge you. Get in a hit or two. So get in a hit or two. All right, don't throw Molotovs, because you don't have time for that. Holy crap, F off. Go away. Is it even worth fighting this guy? He might be protecting our shortcut. He might also have just walked into a little bit of fire himself. See, this works if we can just get him to keep doing this. I can play this game all day. I got nothing but time here. Nothing but time. It's obnoxious that he breaks my lock on every time he backs up like this. And he can use blood vials too. That is also incredibly obnoxious. Don't fight him there. I gotta learn that. Uh. Alright. A few more exchanges like that and we might actually uh, win this fight. I'm really hoping this enemy doesn't respawn. Holy crap. Come on. Come on. He's quick, too. That's what I don't like. Come on. Come on. You asshole. <laughs> Bone marrow ash. What is that? What is that? <laughs> Additional medium that strengthens Quicksilver bullets. According to the workshop, special bone marrow ash collected from Hemwick Charnel Lane. Invaluable to hunters with weak blood tinge who require the use of stronger firearms. So probably just like a temporary boost to our bullet strength, to our blood tinge. My blood tinge is garbage right now, which is probably why my guns do so little damage. But Hmm. I'm really hoping that guy doesn't respawn because holy crap, that sucked. So this is what I'm expecting to be like a shortcut. I just needed a sip of water there. So if we go out here, is he going to have a line of sight on us again? Yes, because that's the building where I was dropping down originally. Because I didn't know about the stairs. Interesting. So we got to get to the other side of this. You can see there's... Maybe you can see. And eh, now you can kind of see... There's like the tip top of a ladder in there, so we gotta get down somewhere. 
We gotta get down there. I don't know how to get down there. Probably don't want to go in there, because... Yeah, no, I, I don't like the looks of that place and everything that's in there. All right, let's see if we can fight this guy again. Let's see if we can get our blood echoes back, or if he picked them up. No qualms about that. I'm kind of shocked that that worked. Can we use the gun? Can we destroy the gun? Can we please use the gun? Huh. That was kind of anticlimactic. The downside to pushing him off the edge is that we don't get to see if he had any uh, item drops for us. Good news, though, is we might actually finally be able to explore the damn area. Part of me wants to drop down here. I really want to drop down here. really don't, though. We'll save that for later. I want to go do a little bit of, a uh, tiny little bit of backtracking. Oh, there's my ladder. Tiny little bit of backtracking. Now that we don't have to worry about Gunner Man shooting us down. Okay, this was where the that hunter was that we just killed. This is where he was messing with us. birds. What did this say? Item waits ahead, therefore run. Oh, are you telling me to run and jump across that? I'm not sure I trust that. That looks legit, though. Go for it. What do we do here? I mean, is that rooftop directly below us death, or is that a legit landing place? Hmm. And there's an item right there. How do we get down there? Aha, stairs. I know that there's... At least one of you on either side. Let's not be on our Molotovs. Let's be on pebbles. Interesting. Because there's that hole there, so it looks like that might be where they're, like, kind of suggesting you come from. So what's up here? Have we been on this before? We have. We need to get down, and I have absolutely no idea where to go or how to do that. All right, we need to, like, get down to street level there. 
so confused. And Hunter also had some pretty cool, like, little arm gun blade thing. I'm really tempted to, like, save and quit and reload and see if, uh... See if he had... See if he left behind, like, a, an item drop or something for us. Reminds me of... Uh... Ferris of the Black Bow in Dark Souls 1. Who, if you kill him by pushing him off the cliff, you can reload the game and come back and his item drop will, will still be there. Hmm. I'm not seeing any... Oh, hello. I think this led's... Yeah. Oh, game. I think that means that he had an item drop. The question is, will saving and quitting cause it to respawn? Alright, so we potentially have two places to try dropping down. We also have 12,000 souls, and I feel nervous doing any sort of crazy exploration with those. That's a lot of souls. Not a ton of souls. Like, maybe, what, two or three level ups? Um, but it is enough to buy that one... The, the holy symbol or whatever. We're going to do this. We're going to try saving and quitting. We're going to see if that brings the drop up here. Because if that guy had, like, a key item or something that we need to pick up, like a key. I don't want to miss out on it. We'll do this real quick. Don't worry about it. Just pretend the game crashed on me again or something. I really hope that the hunter doesn't respawn up here. Although we're not visiting a checkpoint, we're just saving and quitting where we are. So we should be fine. Yeah, there's the item. Are you a key item? Powder keg hunter badge. Hmm. Edge of a powder keg hunter, crafted by powder kegs. The heretics of the workshop. Powder kegs' adoration of complex design and big booms culminated in weapon designs that contrast with those traditionally of the workshop. The late powder kegs, bless their souls, had a motto. If a weapon ain't got kick... It just ain't worth it. Awesome, so this might let us be able to uh, buy new weapons at the workshop. That was 110% worth it right there. Oh my gosh, I'm glad that we did that. Okay, we'll try this. I am regretting my decision already. Can we sneak up on you? They seem to have very sensitive hearing since they kind of can't see. Alright. Hence this being an ambush. Even more so than I had realized. Oh my gosh, this area is enormous. And dark and creepy as hell. Not to mention that noise. Whatever that noise is, is uh, very unnerving. Also, I don't like walking on scaffolding like this. <laughs> oh, that's awesome.
awesome. I have no idea what we just lit on fire, but it killed a bunch of enemies for us. And that's all that matters. Oh my gosh, you're really going to make me walk out there on these beams. This was like my least favorite part of Dark Souls 1. And every video game ever and real life, I am terrified of heights. Uh. Come on. Not making any forward progress. There we go. All that for Madman's knowledge. It's not bad, I guess. Um, not just for Madman's knowledge, though. I'm also going to maybe do something a little stupid. Ooh, okay. Okay. I was half expecting these rickety planks to just, like, shatter out from under me and cause me to plummet to my death. That's okay. This works. Aw. The moaning and stuff has stopped. Can't quite get over to that platform there. I mean, we could try like running and jumping. I don't think we'd make it though. We could drop down onto this one though. We could also potentially. Yeah, I like the moaning better. I don't like this. It's like those, uh, those cowled ones shrieking or something. Yeah. Or something. I don't even know. Um, we could also drop down over here and get an item. There. Yeah, look at that. Bloody messenger head bandage. I don't even know what that is. By the way, we did not gain insight for fighting that jerk hunter with the machine gun. Boy, whatever that is, it, that is... There's a lot of fire going on there. Can we break these chains? No, we cannot. Hmm. That was worth a shot, wasn't it? Okay, well, we seem to be at the end of our rope here, and I don't like this. We have to go down. I don't like this at all. Hmm. Okay, well, there is one trick that we have up our sleeve. We have this, which I haven't used yet, but it's Awaken Anew without losing your Blood Echoes. So I think this will... I think it's going to be like a Homeward Bone. I think it's going to respawn us, let us keep our Blood Echoes. So... Yes? It said I'd keep my Echoes. I just, I feel so nervous walking around with that much cash on me, especially when I know there's something I want to buy with it. There's also a chance that there are some new weapons for us. Oh, and we have a new, uh, we have a new gesture that we learned a couple episodes back from the, uh, that other friendly NPC that we ran into. He was... He was praying or something in front of some sort of little altar, that hunter. I already forget what his name was. Okay, cool. So that is exactly what it was. A homeward bone that takes about ten times longer than it should to do its thing. We're gonna go back to the hunter's dream, though. And I think the gesture we learned from him was like, kneel or pray or something like that. Ooh. 
check off my cape. Uh, sit down seems kind of useless. There's rally joy, conviction, shake off capes, and pray. Yeah, there it is. Cool. All right. Hello. Rope Molotov cocktail. Exploding Molotov cocktail that is thrown behind. Allows for more maneuvering compared to an ordinary Molotov cocktail and can catch foes off guard. Since the tragedy that struck Old Yarnum fires the blah 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 abnormal fear of flame, yes. Hmm. Hunter Chief Emblem for 10,000 souls. I, we really, yeah, 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 new stuff. Oh, they're expensive. Uh, no new armor, though, which is kind of a bummer. So I'm going to buy the Hunter's Chief Emblem, which will let us into the Grand Cathedral's plaza. Not planning on going there right away, but we have it. So what do we have here? A rifle spear, which requires more blood tinge to use, and I do not have that. Oh, and it uses a Quicksilver bullet. That's our first trick weapon that does that. It does blood attack, though, too. And then the stake driver. Trick weapon fashioned by the workshop heretics, the powder kegs. Favored by the retired hunter, Jura. Don't know who that is. The stake driver, with its queerly complex design, violently drives thick stakes into the flesh of foes. The stake driver allows for high damage critical attacks, but it's difficult to use and leaves its wielder wide open. But none of this should bother a mere power keg. Powder keg. Power keg. Uh, um, needs more strength. What do we have? We only have 16 strength. I want to buy it and I want to try it. I want to try all the weapons. Then I just, oh, I just want to. I want them all. Got to catch them all. Uh, prototype weapon serving as a simple firearm and spear. Possibly created in imitation of a lost Kanehurst weapon. Okay, don't know who Kanehurst is. Or who they were. Or whatever. Lacks any notable functions, saving that it is the only trick weapon with an attached gun. <laughs> Good to know. Cool. Question is, do we have enough... Old blood do to get that. I have no idea how much these things give us. Not enough. That's the answer there. Uh, where is it? Eight thousand to buy you. Hmm. We have enough to buy the rifle spear right now. So let's do that. I'm not planning on really doing anything with it, but we have it now. Oh, what was the other thing we picked up? The, like, bandage head thing? Also never used the flame sprayer. There we go. Accessory worn by messengers playing make-believe. Oh, the little zombie babies. Oh, so we get we get actual like key items for customizing them or something? Because I've noticed that some people have them wearing like top hats and things, and I I didn't know if it was just like random or. Excessive adored by naive messengers imitating the bandages of scourge victims, unaware of their meaning. The spatters of blood give it a particularly nice touch. Inhabitants of the stump appear to have an interest in adornment. Why not let them be happy and revel as babes? So they really are just like little creepy babies. Of the stump. But that's not you, right? No, you're not the stump. Oh, I wonder if it means the stump back here, the one that's never had anything at it? Messengers of the stump. 
Hey, look at that. There's some people here. People. There's some babies. Okay, so they have creepy head bandages now. And we can also uh, change them back, apparently. That's creepy. Does that affect all of them? Does that affect, like, the ones back over here? And we still can't meet you. It's buy with insight. I wonder if we, like, have to have a certain amount of insight or something to talk to them. That's another thought. Yeah, I mean, is there any point to hanging on to our madman's knowledge items? Is there any reason to not use them? Okay. So, that's not enough. We had, what, like 12 when we talked to them last time? A holy chalice is said to be enshrined in Old Yarnum, seated in the valley. Oh, weird. It replaced him with, like, a developer note. Oh, this game. Yeah, let's slot in. Oh, so we can put them in. Can we trade them out at any time? Yes. Okay, so it looks like we can freely slot these in and uh, and trade them out also. That's cool. I'll take it up by 20. So not a massive, massive increase, but they both gave more damage. Charge attack up. That might be good too. Oh. And those are the those are the slots for okay. So those gemstone slots show up as you improve the weapons with the bloodstone shards. I see what's going on now. I don't know, and we're not really using any of the other weapons. Hunter pistol. So if we upgrade the pistol as well, we are using that. And that was it. We can't upgrade it anymore. Or do I don't have enough souls. Or blood. Whatever. Blood souls. You know what I mean. But now, can we put a gem in you? We can. Oh. So that's the different shapes. These are radial. And this one gets uh, a blood tinge, because I, I guess because it's going on a gun. Blood tinge, that makes sense. Interesting. So if we look... Oh, I probably should repair everything, too. I probably should try to repair everything, but not have enough to actually repair everything. Um, I meant to fortify. So they have different shapes. So that third shape there is like a weird thing. And this one here is a triangle for its third shape. And this one has a triangle in the middle. As does the rifle spear. Interesting. Okay. I can get behind some of this. I think we're figuring it out. Uh, no, I wanted to try... Not that, I guess. So, never mind. And we maybe wanted to try the flame sprayer. <laughs> it is exactly what it looks like. How quickly does it eat through ammo? Fairly quickly. That's not too bad, though. That is a fun little novelty, but I am going to stick with the torch. Huh. I want to figure out the chalice things. I don't understand those. So much still that we got to figure out. 
We're, uh, we're making progress, though. All right, old Yarnum. I feel good. We bought the $10,000 thing that I wanted. Ah. Uh. So now, in theory, we can explore in peace. I'm guessing because um, when we killed that hunter guy, he dropped a badge for us. I'm assuming that means that he's not going to respawn. I'm also really, really hoping that the other jerk, the one with the, um, the saw spear down below, I'm hoping he doesn't respawn either. Because, boy oh boy, that would be miserable. All right, we still haven't figured out any shortcuts or anything. I don't like that. Yeah, I mean, we can look over and see the gun. I don't know. I, I can't see if there's a person there or not right now, but I couldn't before either, so that's nothing new. I'm so much less afraid of these enemies than I was when we started out here. Yeah, okay, so you're done. That is fantastic. That's so good. Alright. No fear, no regrets. That other hunter's gone for good, too. Oh my gosh, thank goodness. Uh, no need to go down there. We know it was down there. Do I try this jump here? Okay, well, not exactly what I wanted. Can we get across that? Doesn't even look like there's anything over there. Hmm. This is new. That extra little bit of light. There's like a chest over there. See you. Are you patrolling? What are we doing? You want to come play? Oh boy. A big one and a bunch of the little ones. Boy, there are a lot of you, and you are trying to sneak up on me. That's not very nice. So... Okay, you can find me. I was like... What are we doing here? Here, will you come, uh... Maybe single file through the door? Can we... Is that a thing? I 
don't like the sounds. <laughs> I know, I know. I say it constantly. Sound design for this game is brilliant. It's amazing. It's so terrifying. Oh, here's a chest. Please don't be a mimic. Tempering blood stone gem thing. Souls. Another one. I like the gemstones. All right, so there were like one or two more of the hooded ones up here. Weren't there? Another rifle spear. So we... Oh, man. I just wasted 4,000 souls. <laughs> Thanks, game. What are you doing? Oh, and you're another big one. Take that. What is this? Notes. The red moon hangs low and beasts rule the streets. Are we left no other choice than to burn it all to cinders? That's a developer message. Why do you do that? And that is creepy as hell. I'm saying it's a developer message because we can't vote it up or down. That's what's... Cluing me into that. Okay. So that's where this goes. Because I saw this hole earlier and I didn't know how to get there. Oh man, I almost attacked this. I was like, oh no, it's going to be one of those shooty wheelchair people. Charred hunter clothes. Huh. Alright, well, that was certainly an interesting little diversion. I was kind of expecting it to lead us to like a new area. I still don't know how to actually get down. And we still don't have any sort of actual shortcut. Where are you? There you are. Hmm. I mean... I guess it's not that big of an area. Now that we've gone through here a couple times. But still. Alright, we're back here. So we're gonna drop down on this enemy from above again. And by drop down on this enemy from above, I mean we're going to drop down onto the ledge and sneak up behind the enemy. That's better. Hello. Something just died on its own. Gave me 141 souls. Blood. Blood souls. Bloodborne. Oh, dang it. All right, well, I didn't get the backstab I wanted, but it still worked. Okay, and then there's still this. So let's maybe be a bit more strategic and see. Oh, and everything's still on fire. That's interesting. Oh, I wonder if that's what died, if things just, like, spawned as I got close into the fire. Yes, physical attack is very effective against that, whatever that was. Hmm. So I think we got everything that was over there. Unless there's a way to get onto that scaffolding over there on our top level here. But on the other side, I don't see any way of getting over there. Unless there's something down here, but I don't think there is. That's a bad fall. Yeah, so I'm going to assume that we just can't get onto that scaffolding. The, the top level all the way over there. I don't see any more items, so I think we got everything that's over there. I know there was an item that we could get over here. We'd have to drop down a fair ways to get to it. Alternatively, we could just drop down where we are. No, 
Oh, I want that item, whatever it is over there. There's, n It could be like a one-way drop to get down from here as well. So there's no guarantee that we'd be able to get this item later. Odds are good that, you know, that door, wherever it goes to get off of here. But it's, it's two ways. I don't know if I'm making any sense at all anymore. We're going to get this item and then I am going to, uh, to wrap it up and call it a night because I am exhausted. And I've been playing Bloodborne for way too long. Or not long enough. I haven't been playing it nearly long enough, but I've been playing it for too much tonight. Oh, hello. Fun textures and things spawning in. Well, we just got everything's attention. And it was, they were like worshipping that flaming thing there. And then the hooded ones are howling. Don't like this. Oh, I should probably actually keep an eye on my health, too. Oh, did I actually get poisoned there? That might be what happened. No, thank you. Not interested in that. No, 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 no. This is bad. Oh, yep, we're poisoned. Oh, I don't like this at all. Oh, and that slow poison is nasty, and we don't have any antidotes in uh, easy access. That's okay. I can play this game. We hit something through the wall. Well, it answered my question as to whether this was a one-way drop or not. Also, we're going to be able to explore the low level nice and easy because <laughs> we're fighting every single enemy here. Alright. Alright, that was... That was a thing. We can't stop now, can we? We have to keep going. Where does this go? Back up here. Okay, so this was the ambush room. We've already, uh, we walked across that ledge up top there. I love that open and close combo. That is like my new favorite combo. You haven't figured that out yet. Antidotes. Yeah, um, we might want to... Oh, excuse me. Might want to actually put antidotes on our trick bar here. So I'm not really using you. We'll take those off. And yeah, we'll put antidotes on here. That seems like a good idea. All right, is there anything else in here? Beware of high spot. Yep, 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 yep. So you probably run under that one and it drops down behind you. So when you're engaging the two in front of you, you have that enemy from behind to worry about as well. Okay, so. Just gonna check this out. Yeah, there's like a creepy altar up there with an item on it. This place is creepy as hell. They were, that moaning and stuff, they were definitely, like, chanting and worshipping whatever giant flaming monstrosities in the middle there. Before we burnt it. They were worshipping it even after we burnt it, too, but... Madman's knowledge, awesome. 
I do enjoy getting more of those. Huh. There we go. I was like, I know they were coming up from somewhere. Item is effective. Uh, these messages are so useless sometimes. Alright, so we're down here on the lowest level. Let's go see what's on the altar, and then we'll call it quits. I know we've... I'm, at this point, I've resigned myself to just making this video like an hour long. Not like an hour long, actually an hour long. It's gonna be an hour long. It was going to be an hour-long video. I really need to stop playing and go to bed. Ritual Blood 1. Okay. That one has a candle on it. Yeah, so that might just be like a, a giant, like a giant werewolf monster. And they were worshipping it? And then it caught on fire. Or it was on fire and they were worshipping it and we dropped oil that exploded on the ground. One of those two things happened. I don't know, I wasn't paying that much attention when we first got here. We're just... Oh, great. Werewolves clinging to walls now. That's lovely. That is totally a thing that I want to fight. I'm just poking my head out here to see if there's a lantern, because if there is, that would be a great place to end. It doesn't look like there is one around here. Ugh. So we'll end in here by the creepy fire altar thing. Uh, this has been a hell of an episode, that's for sure. Thank you all for joining me. And... Uh, yeah, conviction. We'll explore with conviction next time. Ha 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 ha.